The following video demonstrates the replacement of the motor for the 1175P conveyor. Begin by removing the front panel. The front panel is held on by four Phillips screws, two on either side. Turn the conveyor onto its side. Ensure the control panel side is on top. Hold the conveyor to provide support as you begin removing the motor. The motor is held on by four Phillips screws located on the bottom of the conveyor. The screws tension the motor, so loosen them in an X pattern. Once loosened, the motor will slide forward. Hold the motor and remove the four screws completely. Unhook the clear O-ring from the pulley on the motor. Remove the motor part way from the conveyor. Be careful as the motor is still connected with cables. Gently but firmly disconnect the end connectors. Occasionally, the motor side prong connector may become disconnected. If that happens, gently unplug the connector. The new motor comes with connecting prongs pre-installed. Shown is a pulley on the new motor. Install the new motor before connecting the wiring. Plug everything in, black to black, red to red. Hook the clear o-ring belt back onto the motor pulley before mounting loosely into position. Once all four screws are installed loosely and the motor is mounted, Tension the motor. Tension the motor by sliding it forward along the slotted brackets. You will know the motor is tensioned correctly when the o-ring belt is not loose but rebounds when pressed in slightly. If after completing the motor replacement you notice the motor is slipping, Retention the motor as previously shown. Reinstall the end panel and the four Phillips screws, and the repair is complete.